My name is Doug Hemminger. I'm a uh, SharePoint developer, architect, uh, you know, focusing a lot on Office 365 now. I'm based out of Chicago, and I work for a company called SPR Consulting. Uh, I actually started SharePoint development in about 2007 with uh, SharePoint 2007. Uh, before that, I was a .NET developer, and I've pretty much done SharePoint development since then and haven't looked back. So. I first heard about the framework about a year ago, and since then, I've obviously uh, you know, kept up on it as much as possible as they've sort of developed it and evolved it. And more recently, I've had a lot more opportunities since it's gone GA to uh, play around with it. Uh, but I actually haven't implemented it yet for a client. I'm still waiting for the right situation for that to come up. I actually think they are absolutely on the right track. I love the rapid development cycle for releasing uh, features and capabilities within the SharePoint framework. Uh, however, it's still sort of a limited scope in that it's uh, you know, focused on UX uh, type development in Office 365 uh, within the, the scope of a web part, uh, which is sort of good in some ways because it really helps them, Microsoft, focus on the foundation and building it correctly, the framework correctly. Uh, but at the same time, it sort of limits its, uh, its uh, use cases, uh, you know, more, more broad use of cases. I think the roadmap is very much on the right track. Uh, in the near term, uh, I like that they're focusing on really uh, developing the core set of capabilities and the foundation. Uh, you know, some of the things like uh, enabling access to uh, the graph, the Office graph, is or the Microsoft graph is key. Um, building the capability to connect uh, between web parts is key. Uh, those those sort of core capabilities are very important. Uh, but longer term, I'd really like to see them uh, expand beyond the web part, beyond the, you know, the, the page itself, and allow more robust interactions. And, I, and I, from what I can sense, although I haven't seen anything specific, that's where we're headed. So I, I'm, I'm really excited about that. I really like that it's uh, developed, it, that it's based on client-side technologies using modern web capabilities. Uh, but at the same time, it leverages TypeScript and uh, has the capability uh, to develop really good ALM support. Uh, it, I can see it evolving to an enterprise uh, class framework uh, that is based on client-side technologies, a client-side open source modern web technology. I, that really excites me. Uh, I don't think it's quite there yet. They've already started to put in some, there's some good ALM capabilities and, and things are happening, but I just, I, I let, I'm looking towards the future and, I, and that's what I'm excited about. Well, I already mentioned um, the capability to access the graph is key, and, and they recently uh, rolled out um, the graph HTTP client uh, in preview mode, which is fantastic. Uh, I think that's an important thing uh, for like, being able to access that data and surface it in, um, in the web parts and the UI. Uh, so I, I think that's a great thing. Uh, I'd also like to see I know I said, you said one thing, but I'd also like to see uh, them continue to develop integration possibilities with uh, other uh, outside um, platforms. And, and I, a lot of what my clients are facing now is how do I get my on-premises systems and applications into the cloud? And most of them are not simple web parts, uh, at least not the ones I'm working with. They, they leverage backend data somewhere. They leverage um, other information that uh, I think it would be great to be added to those capabilities to be added to the, um, the platform, the framework. So, I I actually like the I, I would like them to make it easier to use some of the other frameworks besides React, <laughs> uh, you know, like Angular and some of the other ones. I think it's it's I mean it's great that they allow us to use all those open source frameworks, but for some reason um, they haven't. Uh, introduced a lot of sort of the capabilities that you would, we have with React to, in some of the other frameworks, so. There are a number of um, server-side developers 
from SharePoint who, uh, you know, they, they understand the SharePoint object model, they know how SharePoint works, uh, they've maybe they've worked for, with it for years, uh, and they even understand a lot of how to apply that to business cases, to like how to apply that to requirements and business situations. Uh, many of them do, most of them do. Uh, and then there are sort of these other developers who uh, maybe they're coming out of school or uh, from other uh, in, you know, jobs or environments who really understand the, the modern web stack uh, and the open source capabilities. Uh, but they don't understand necessarily uh, SharePoint or the object model or even how to convert uh, business use cases from SharePoint uh, to uh, to what they need in the in actual development, and I, I think the biggest challenge is going to be sort of merging those those two sets of developers. Like they need to come together. They need to come together. Like the the former um, uh, C sharp uh, server side developers need to be able to uh, learn the the modern web stack and some of the frameworks and how to use that. Uh, and then the other group needs to figure out like how do I learn SharePoint and how to understand the business use cases. Um, so that's the biggest challenge, I think. I actually, for the first time, I'm actually very excited. Like, they've come out, Microsoft has come out with several dev models over the past, you know, five, ten years or whatever. Uh, and for the first time in a long time, I, I actually see this one lasting. Like, this, is, this has legs. Uh, even though it's very narrow in scope now, like I said, they're really building the foundation to expand it well beyond where it is now, in my opinion. Uh, so when I look ahead 12 months uh, or even two years, uh, I see uh, a much broader adoption with features that expand beyond the web parts, maybe full page or maybe integration capabilities with other systems. Um, that's, that's my hope and that's where I see it heading, so that's, that's what I think. For people getting into the SharePoint framework, uh, I think I mean, the documentation, you know, started going back to May or even a little bit earlier this year was a little bit sketchy. It's getting better, uh, but it's still kind of hard sometimes to figure that out. Uh, I definitely recommend uh, just uh, starting your own little project uh, to, to try and play with it. Uh, download the tool sets, uh, make something up that you're gonna make and uh, just go at it. And, and you're gonna encounter 100 problems along the way uh, just try to figure them out. If you need help, uh, post on the forums, reach out to you know, one of the experts. They'll, they'll be for sure someone who would be willing to help you.